Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, a lot of people are um, wondering what happened to the little box that would be on the side of your images or text or so let's go to shapes and we're going to insert a square or rectangle here and so what you used to have is you would have the little unlock proportion area over here well Cricut has taken that away and so now if you want to be able to drag to where you can um, have more freedom with your image or shapes or what have you, you have to do it from the lock proportions. So in between your width and your height, you're gonna click on the lock proportions button and that will allow you to now make that as tall or small or what as you would like it. Um, in regards to the rotate that used to be on the top right here, you can still rotate. There's just not a box, okay? So you see how what I did is I actually um, just took and shifted it. Once you see the little rotational, you can shift it. And um, that's how you do that. They've just pretty much taken away you know, those little boxes that used to sit there, but the rotate is still there. You can also rotate from here. Um, so if I wanted to rotate, I could rotate that way. You know, it looks a little bit better when you were able to just, you know, sh click your little box, but the ability or the functionality to do it, the functionality to do it is still there. Um, like I said, the rotate, you just wait until you see the rotational um, little thing. So you click and there's the rotational. Just hold your mouse in that top corner and you still have the ability to rotate. As far as your proportions, you just have to click the lock proportion one time. And then once you unlock your proportions, you can even type in. So if you want to do a three by three, you just type it in, okay? But as long as this is locked, whatever you type in the width, it's going to automatically change your height for you, okay? So if you don't want that to happen, just click this lock proportions. Once you've completed making your changes to your proportions, always go back in and lock your proportions, okay? So... Again, the functionality is still there. It just, you know, you just have to go to lock proportions and then here you just rotate. Once you see the little two arrows on each end, then you have the ability to rotate. And then you used to have the X to just delete it. All you got to do is just click it and either hit delete on your keyboard or you can right click and delete. Okay. So you still have the functionality. Um, it's there. And uh, I just wanted to show you that, all right? So if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I don't know if Cricut did a big announcement about that. I found out about it this morning when I was doing a tutorial and I just figured out what to do um, because you could always lock proportions from the top menu area. So that's not anything new. They just took away the functionality from inside of your canvas down here, okay? All right, guys, that's my storm sticking to it. And thank you guys so much for the love and support on YouTube and Facebook. My Facebook group is Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. If you would like to join my Facebook group and if you would like to, um, if you like my method of teaching, then please like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. All right, guys, that's all I came on to tell you. And just to have a great day. All right. 
All right, guys, you know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.